I skipped breakfast today for this tour. Let's eat. Today in New York City, I want to try three different burgers. The high-end Chefy Burger at Emily, the Pub Burger at JG Mellon, and of course the Roadside Burger at Hard Time Sundays. Chef Matt. Hey, George, good to see you. Good to see you, hi there. So what is the story with the hamburger here? Um, I got bored of making pizza one day. I was like, I'll put a burger on the menu. This is one of those burgers that I think about all the time. Let's go make one. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> So we'll start off with a pretzel bun. My guess is that you have this because it's a sturdier bun for Definitely. all this action that's about to happen. <laughs> so we'll butter up our bun. Yep. So this is dry aged beef. Yep, dry age. It's funky. You know, it funky. really, it really tastes like a steakhouse. Yeah. So like you're eating a steak. Do not be afraid of salt. I know you don't hear. No. Don't be afraid. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. And then a the press. That press is impressive, by the way. Start building the burger. Yeah, we got any sauce. Important. It is the anchor to this burger. Wing sauce. Caramelized onions. Burgers, cheese, onions, pickles, and the sauce, and that's it? That's it. So more sauce on top, and we're good. No silly vegetables on here. <laughs> it's salty, it's sweet, it's crunchy, it's hot, it's cold in places. I mean, it's, it's perfect. I'd shake your hand, but... <laughs> we'll do a <laughs> bump like that, how about that? Sean Young. Hey, George, nice to see you Good again. See you. Yes. Well, my favorite people in the hamburger business because you've been around longer than anybody, it seems well, like, right? That's nice to hear, yes. Like, the great thing about the JG Mellon Burger is it is a classic New York City pub burger, and that's all it's trying to be, right? Yes. Let's go watch them make one. Chef Musa, hi there. Good to see you. How's everything? So what are you doing here? You seasoned with salt and pepper? Seasoned with salt and pepper. Yep, uh -huh, that's it. Yeah. Pub burger, nice thick burger. Those juices stay in there if you don't press it, right? Yeah. Yep. So what's happening here is sear. You're getting, you're getting a perfect sear. It's going under a regular bun, like a regular white bun, right? That's it. Yeah. A toasted white bun. It's a classic, simple burger. Double cheese. That's Sean. Oh. It's a thing of beauty. Yeah. This is the burger you crave. The crust is very pronounced. I mean, it is very salty, it's good. It has a crunch, the crust yeah. should have a crunch. But also, it helps to keep all the juice in. Look at, the, look at the juice coming out of this, it's still in there. 46 years and it's still phenomenal. John, thank you. My pleasure, George. You're one of my hamburger heroes. Thank you, thank you. Oh, good timing, you just opened? Hey, George, how are you? How are you doing, man? Good to see you. See you too. What I love about Hard Time Sundays is that you guys use the smash method which, as far as I'm concerned, is the original American hamburger method to smash a patty. The classic smash burger. That's what seems to work for us. Oh, I love it. Let's go make one. Let's go. You just grab a bowl of meat. Uh, generally, we're about a quarter of a pound. Prime chuck. Yep. This is Give it a little flip and a little Ooh. smash, and that's the end of it. We use our regular straight-up potato rolls. This is my magic butter wheel right here. So I like to move it around to get another hot spot on there. But we never press it, never press it again, I right? never touch that meat again, never yeah. press it. I like to put the cheese on as soon as possible because some of that grill stuff that's yes. on the burger will melt with the cheese right That's right, there. yeah, I, I call it cheese on flip. Basically, that burger is done. These are my caramelized onions. After I make bacon in the morning, I throw my onions right in that bacon grease that's on I the grill. I didn't know that. Buttered, Ooh. toasted, Martin's potato roll. It makes the biggest difference. It's evocative. It's nostalgic. 